All right, I'm back with Scott Herrick from x ray Pantone, who's gonna show you how to load color libraries into the exact spectrophotometer. So take it away, Scott. All right, so first thing you're gonna to need to do is um, install the exact manager on your PC or on your Mac, either one. Um, it does work on both platforms. Um, second thing you're gonna to wanna to do is plug in a USB cable. Um, exact manager only works using a USB, even though you may have a Bluetooth device, um, that's because the exact manager does a lot of syncing with libraries and it does some firmware loading Which you don't want to do over a Bluetooth connection. So we have that uh, specifically locked to a USB only so Load up your exact manager plug in your exact through a USB driver or through a USB cable and you got her connected Okay, so up the top up here. You're gonna see this is my, happens to be my computer name um, but you're going to see some buttons up here, color library, job template, project uh, names, and then user profile. Down here happens to be my instrument, and then I have the, basically the same buttons, except for one more button down here called an instrument. So if I click on color libraries up top, it shows me what's loaded up in my software. And those come standard with the exact? Yeah, so this is right now, I'm actually linked up to Pantone Live. So Pantone Live, um, the, exact, the new version of uh, Exact Manager 1.7, uh, does ship directly with Pantone Live connectivity to the solid coded and the solid uncoded. You don't actually have to buy a Pantone Live license to get that. It does come with it. And those automatically update? Yes, those will continue to automatically update. As long as those computers internet connected, every 30 days those libraries will go up to the cloud. If there's any new libraries, that, uh, colors that get added to the library, it will automatically download those new colors and update your library. So they stay current all the time. So if I want to take one of those libraries, I'm just going to grab the coded down for just a minute, and I can grab that library, and if I hold my mouse key down and I hold it and drag it, I can drop it down to the instrument's color library, and then drop it in there, and then she will then sync. So on the instrument, you'll see that it says uh, do not disconnect because it's syncing, and then on the software side, you, said, you can see that it's actually uh, taking some time to sync. Now usually this will take me eh, a couple minutes to sync up, um, and once that's done, you'll be able to see that library um, on the instrument. Fantastic, fantastic. And what other pieces of software does Exact connect with? Well, it comes standard with Exact Manager. That's what comes with it, and it's free. The other software program that comes with it is something called uh, Data Catcher. Um, that is a utility that you can connect to the instrument so I can take readings and take those readings and put them into it like an Excel spreadsheet or something else like that. Um, and then if you have the scan chassis, um, it does ship with a, another program called um, uh, Data Measure, uh, which allows you to actually scan in a color bar, set that as the standard, and then measure against that, and it will give you plus or, uh, plus or minuses of where that standard was. Uh, so those are the free programs that ship with it, uh, but the Exact itself connects to just about almost every software program that x ray manufactures, um, and to many, 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 many third-party applications um, that will use that exact as their measurement device. Fantastic. So that was Scott Herrick showing us how to load color libraries into the instrument. And now we'll take a step back and look at some more features with the X-Rite Exact Spectrophotometer family.